what up how's it going so in that last episode <laughs> didn't expect it to go the way that it went um tony got his sister out of there and it's funny because you're thinking a hey, so it's about to go down with richie and they about to go to war things are gonna go into motion and now richie's out of here so we got to see how this is gonna go it's also the last episode of the season so it's gonna be something uh bigger than just you know Oh, well, we can't find him, right? It's going to be something more important. So let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect his sister to, to take it that far. <laughs> knew she was a scumbag. I didn't know her level of scumbaggery. Uh, we knew Richie, right? We knew he was the type of dude. Like, the fact that he told, uh, he said what he says to Chris, and then in the same breath says, and he gets married, he can do whatever he want. It lets you know the type of guy he is, right? So let's go ahead and start this episode. The topic. Oh, sure, sure. You believe that uncle of yours. I never conspired with him. I wish somebody would tell me what you're talking about. Ma, you can't come live with us. I'm sorry, but Tom won't allow it. Tom, I'll ask you how many fucking times to come live with us. Shit. Oh, oh, there you go, the tickets. <laughs> there are two tickets, first class. Go to Tucson, stay with that Gemma. Done my part. That's all you get from me. My sister Quintina will fly. So throw out in the fucking tarmac. This kid, one thousand gun. Don't come my gun. My to me, seven dollars. Okay. Look at this motherfucker. Salvatore. Oh, and envelopes just the first week. I love it. So telecommunications once again fails to disappoint. You find a front man who can get a line of credit. You buy a couple of million units of calling time from a carrier. You become Acme Telephone Card Company. Acme. You're now in the business of selling prepaid calling cards. Immigrants especially, no offense. And Tony, you got the last dozen flowers. Do me a favor, put these on the menu for Meadows' graduation party. Hey, those were some colleges she got into your kid. Yeah, you must be very proud. Hey, holy cross. I mean, Heather didn't exactly walk away with Ugats. I give Carmelo all the credit. Hey, you had something to do with it, too. Cheers. Hey. Saludo. Shit going, going too good. Also, you got a fucking rat a right there, right what next the to fuck? you. Exactly. Richie appeals in the Bermuda Triangle. All my enemies are smoked. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, Patsy. What the fuck? Don't bring that in here. I know it looks fatter than a suit, right? I hate that when the air gets trapped inside the suit bag, you know, when you zip it up. No, I hate that too. Yeah. Well, zip it a little. Let the air out. Show it. Holy shit. My suit's growing a fucking beard. Oh, Tony, will you let me work here, please? Ah! Let's fucking alive! Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. Tony, what did you do? Got her. Mm -hmm. oh she likes God. the finer things yeah. in life. Give her a quick Peter splash. Peter, you get it? Because <laughs> they be splash. <laughs> they be splashing shit on furs. And then the other part of the joke is that you go that far. Freak technique. This a dream? Mm -mm. You believe this shit? It's fucking June. My daughter's graduating in a week. Spring snow. Happened when my parents got married. Won't last. So they here yet? Not yet. I'm sorry. When they make the diagnosis? About a month ago. There's nothing they can do for you. The various protocols to date are ineffective. September 5th. That's how long they've given him to live. But instead of waiting till then, he's gonna light himself on fire. How many guys are gonna do that for you, eh? Spare you all those fucking visits to the hospital. Colt went over big. She loved it. I'm Philly. Sorry. Right, don't you wear your brother? You know, I just put a sable off him. I'm sorry I had to do that. Fuck this. They're never coming. <coughs> Where's pussy? What if these doctors are wrong? It's a hell of a dream. I could just fucking kill myself. I've been so fucking depressed. It's all big nothing. What is? Life. Tony, that is your mother talking. Everything's black. Well, it's, it's coming from here. It's not my fucking head. It's my stomach. Oh, fuck. It's a chicken vindaloo. Went to an Indian restaurant. 
That is so racist. Who's letting those big ones? There better be coke left Dumb in that fridge question, is all boy. I can say. How'd it go? Mm-hmm. Was Sun Deep there? Yeah. I don't cut. Yeah. I know, I know. Tony's your best friend. President Franklin is my best friend. Some cooperators, when they finally get their new identity, they do pretty fucking good. One snitch I worked with became recycling and garbage commissioner of a good-sized city in Florida. What are you looking for? Somebody's looking for me. Who? I don't know. Our true enemy has yet to reveal himself. He even had the sweater on. It's hilarious. <laughs> Three hearts and a seven. Queen bites. Make it a nine. <laughs> I fucked up dreams last night. I shot this guy. He's a friend of mine. Now, in real life, this guy does do some things that annoy me. Like every Christmas, he sends out these type reports of what his nieces and nephews have been doing. It was, it was filled with... Anger. Yeah, right, anger. You know everything. You've never dealt with your anger. And look at the cost. You are the biggest threat to yourself. You're gonna make me eat something now? Maybe, if you keep this up. No. Is his dreams gonna lead him to the fact that pussy is the snitch? Tony had food poisoning all night, the poor guy. Ooh. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's it's not from, from my you. place. Yeah, it's was from you. Was he Vesuvio last night? I got an A rating, it's... Sure, mm -hmm. of course, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, talk. Send him up. Motherfucking zucchini Tony, flowers. go to sleep. You don't even make any sense when you talk. Jeez, you picked up a bad one somewhere, huh? Somewhere? You know, maybe. Just had a consideration for it as you dumped those fucking muscles you gave me before you cause a fucking outbreak. I handpick every piece of shellfish myself. Oh, yeah? It's a serious allegation. Nobody's gonna fucking sue you. Tony, you ate mussels? Prince Edward Island. Top of the line. After an entire Indian dinner? Did you call pussy? He had the muscles, too. Jesus, already called pussy. Some concern, maybe? I am. I feel very bad for him. It's Arthur Buco. <laughs> Fuck. But he had a reaction. You guys ate at an Indian restaurant. It would help if we knew. Did you have any symptoms? No. Well, once during the night, I did have a slight touch of diarrhea. Well, that's all the past. Nothing. <laughs> touch of diarrhea. What the fuck? Am I going to get sick now? No! I'm sorry, Tony, but I feel vindicated. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Buko. I can't get off the boardwalk. Those traveling with young children, those requiring special assistance. You can't understand a word they say. Go <coughs> <coughs> Olivia Soprano? What the fuck is happening here? Oh, the tickets, huh? The tickets. So, who's your friend? Who's your friend? Pussy? I'm confused. Isn't Pussy your friend? Yeah. But that's the friend that was almost carried off by the ducks, right? This is one of those situations where I know I'm dreaming. I got Pussy on the brain. I always do. Well, I want to fuck you. I always did. I find you immensely attractive, Anthony. Thought I repulsed you. You go out of your way to repulse me. But you like that. You just admitted you find me attractive. You're the one that's fucked up. What are we going to do with you? What's he smiling at? Oh, he's gritting his teeth. He's freezing. <laughs> Tony. Hey, Tom. You didn't get sick? Nah. How much you weigh? Eight pounds. Lost a lot of weight. Swimming. Works every muscle group. Get the fuck out of here. You, you never exercise once in your life. Anyway, four dollars a pound. You know I've been working with the government, right, Tom? Don't say it. Come on, Tom. Sooner or later, you gotta face facts. I don't wanna hear it. Well, you're gonna hear it. You passed me over for promotion, Tom. You know. How much shit you give him? A lot. Fuck him away for it all to end, huh? Yeah. These guys on either side of me, they're asleep. Don't say that. You sleep with the it's fishes. Not fucking funny. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but I can't believe that really was what they were going for. I wanna see you flopping around down there. 
Get your ass back in bed. Gramps are gone. I gotta go out. Now help me with this. Tony, you are out of your mind. I brought you some...